Tonight was all about honoring the life of Colin Krivasheen, the Hortonville senior who lost his life in a car accident earlier this week. Local Fox Robin Ogenye was at the Polar Bear Stadium moments before the game started, and she joins us live now from the studio with more. Robin? Aaron Tom, tonight's game between Hortonville and Kokana was a playoff game, but the stakes of the match was not the highlight of the night, more so the missing number 82. It's playoffs. Colin should be here. If you ever need a little motivation, was Colin Krivashin Sr. quote, it seemed tonight a playoff game. Hortonville may need more than a little. It was pretty devastating. Um, I mean, I, I just talked to him like two hours before and to know that my math buddy wasn't going to be there, it sucked. You know, it sucked. And Cora, the, kick the field was one player short, but for those who knew Colin best, there's no shortage of memories. Colin was a sweetie. He, uh, uh, our boys grew up together and they played ball together, hung out together. Um, he's just a goofy kid, but a goofy kid with a lot of cool goals and was going to do something really awesome. And so if we can do something awesome for him, that, that's what we want to do. He always put a smile on your face. He never, he never complained. He put in all the work that he had to do to, to do anything he wanted to do in life. He never, he, he always did everything by the book. More than 700 t-shirts sold in his honor. Towels with his number printed in his favorite color, green, are no replacement for the kid who spoke the words those items now read, but it carries his spirit. And like Colin, the spirit of his team and town is a positive one. I love his parents. I love Peggy and Jim. Um, God be with them and go polar bears. Let's take it all the way. Colin's funeral will be held at Valley Funeral Home in Greenville tomorrow. Visitation will be from noon to 4 p.m. In the studio, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News.